double dry hopped version of an IPA classic that's celebrating its 15th anniversary. It's beer a clock from the Thornbridge Brewery. We have a box. But what's inside the box, eh? Hey? Let's open it up. We have got the 15th anniversary box of their classic beer, Jaipur. So this, this, this box, put it over there. This box was 30 pound from, from Thornbridge. It's on the website now. And you get a large can of their classic Jaipur, which is 5.9%. A can of their new double dry hopped Jaipur coming in at 5.9%. And they're, they've released it in the past, their Jaipur X, which I believe is, is I'll just check out, yeah, yeah, it was the one I reviewed was 10%, and that's 10%. So we got the Jaipur X, we got the double dry hop Jaipur, the standard Jaipur, you get a, a pair of socks and you get this fantastic glass which I'm just going to take out of the equation now try and get this glass out because we're going to need a glass to review the beer aren't we but no for 30 pound it's not a bad little um, set it's on their website you know I, I look at it and think what are you going to pay for a tecu glass it's a large tecu glass you know it's five or six quid of anyone's money in it you're looking three quid a can there um probably more for the Jai jaipur x so if you go i don't know with the cans three quid four quid um six quid you know that's might as well say that's 20 pound you got your socks you know that's printed up socks it's about even as far as i'm concerned but today we're going to review the double dry hopped Jaipur. So here we go, the double dry hopped Jaipur coming in at 5.9% ABV. Um, as you know, it, they produced Jaipur 15 years ago. Um, it's probably um, Thornbridge Brewery's biggest selling beer. They produce it on keg, they produce it on cask, they produce it in a bottle, they produce it in a can. Now, I, I was actually told by uh, Rob from Hopscene, giving you a bit of a plug there, Rob, um, that they actually used a different strain of yeast in their keg and cask beers to what they do in their bottle and cans. And I didn't know that, and... Um, Thanks to Rob for mentioning that to me. Right, without further ado, look, let's get this open. Let's get it into a glass and let's get it a review. I've been looking forward to this one. And I think as we stand, we're gonna be the first channel to review this beer on YouTube. To review the double dry hopped Jaipur. Is it gonna full fit in the glass? Not quite. But hey, look at that. This is a two thirds of a pint glass before anyone asks, right? Well, it does it justice in the glass, doesn't it? Look at the gold livery on there and, right. It's a beautiful, hazy, golden yellow color with a two finger white tight foam head. Let's get the aromas. I'm expecting lots and lots of grapefruit. Oh, my word. I had a dry pour earlier, believe it or not, because I was always in my fridge. And obviously, I wanted to... Um, compare what the normal dry pour was to this double dry hopped well all i can say just on the aroma alone it's got like double double the flavor oh my god tropical fruits it 
doesn't smell as sharp as a joy pour. If you get a joy pour, pour it out, you know, in the can. There's a little bit of sharpness to it and a little bit of acidity to it, which my wife, um, my wife can't really drink a lot of a uh, joy pour. Um, she prefers a uh, um, life and death, to be honest. Um, but I think she'll like this one. Doesn't smell as acidic. Look, let's let's give it a try. So let's toast to 15 years of Thornbridge Jaipur. Thank you so much. You've uh, you've made a lot of people's lives a pleasure with this beer. And let's give it a try. Whoa! I feel like I've just been knocked out by Mike Tyson. For those younger viewers, check him out. <laughs> but, <laughs> my word. It's so much smoother than a standard Jaipur. It's punchier. It's more tropical fruit, it's more grapefruit there. But the bitterness is very, very mellow. There's a little bit of pininess there. Look at the lacing on that glass. Thornbridge Brewery, if you do not continue producing this, your mugs, this is better than standard Jaipur. This takes your standard Jaipur to another level. Even if this is twice the price of a can of your standard Jaipur, I'll pay it. I will pay it. I matter of fact, uh, I would take Jaipur out of my beer fridge and have this in there instead. This is brilliant. This is so flavorful, punchy, so smooth. You can really taste the, the grapefruit pith in this way. But there's none of that bitterness. You know, you know when a lot of people are put off by these grapefruit tasting beers, these grapefruit tasting IPAs, because they're grapefruit piffy bitterness, they don't like it. Well, this has the grapefruit piffiness there. But it hasn't got the bitterness to go with it. It's smoother. Um It's just fantastic. Now, I don't think they're selling this individually at the moment. 
which is a shame. But they are doing a pack where you can, if you don't want the socks and you don't want the glass, right? They're doing a pack where you get four cans of this, four cans of the big cans of Jaipur, four big cans of the Jaipur X for 50 quid. And, but it's free delivery, so you're getting 12 big cans of beer, um, four of each. You know, there's a lot of ABV there um, for 50 quid. Now, to be honest, if you look at that and break that down, if you had six cans, if you, if you got them and had six cans on a Friday evening, two of each, and then six cans on a Saturday evening, you know, especially with the pubs as they are closing at 10 o'clock nowadays, and you know how much we all spend in the pubs, you know, uh, it's nothing to spend 50 quid one night in a boozer on your own. It's nothing, it's nothing nowadays to spend 50 quid, is it? So you could buy that, that, that case. It's on there now. I've got it right in front of me. Um, they've got them in stock. So you could get four cans of each in this in this case they're doing. Free delivery. Um, a cheap weekend having some quality beer. You start off with a couple of, couple of dry pours, a couple of the duck got a double hops and then finish with a Jaipur X as your nightcap, you know, um, I think it's a bargain, um, the way pubs are going, I might be ordering a case myself, just for having a, me and the missus one night, you know, um, that's, that's six, ca uh, six cans each, um, I'm just so impressed with this beer. Thornbridge Brewery. Please, please, please continue brewing this beer and make this beer part of your all year round beers that we can buy. Please, and please look, for any of you here that have tried this beer, all right, comment below. Tell Thornbridge Brewery that you'd like to see this all year round. Because this is awesome. This deserves all year round status. This 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 shouldn't be a one off beer. It is fantastic. Look, I can understand the Jaipur X only doing that small batches maybe once a year or every now and then. Understand that. But this one here. Winner winner, chicken dinner. It's probably one of the best beers that I've had from Thornbridge um, this year. And that's saying something because you know I like Thornbridge Brewery. Um, so look, get hold of a get hold of a can, jump through hoops, flaming hoops to get hold of a can of this beer, right? Because you will not be disappointed. Even you lager fans won't be disappointed. Get hold of a can of this, right? It's a it's a beer to try before you die. So get out of the can, leave me a comment below, give us a big thumbs up if you like the review, hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one, and of course subscribe to the channel, and like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching, good night. <coughs> TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.